to say. The strength of judging process is that we judge things lots of times, which is sometimes a bit difficult uh, for us in that we judge even the wines that have been kicked out. The great thing about it, it means that if one of your, if one of your wines wins, it's been through quite a few pallets. And you know, I think we're all pretty experienced and we have strengths and weaknesses. And those are great because we bring them together uh, it means that the best person for that region is often called in to taste the wine, but it also means that you've got somebody with a fresh perspective on that region also tasting the wine. So I think it's a really good series of checks and balances. Um, I hope that we end up with the right answer. I'm just in the middle of judging some fascinating champagnes here. That Jamie has already been through them. I'm now checking them again. And that means that the panel chair, are with their table, then Jamie, then me, three times these are judged. And what's exciting here, this table is of, of, of styles that are not mainstream. One of the tremendous strengths of what we do at IWC is that we think between the bunch of us that we sort of understand just about every style that's going on in the world. And we're really, really open to new stuff that comes through. Often the new stuff that comes through is back to the future. It's often stuff that is, is sort of almost forgotten about and is beginning to be brought back into the world of wine by Lord the Hipsters and the Cool Dudes. We're ready for them. Uh, and it, I think that when you look at the, the kind of group of us, how much effort we put in to anything which is not quite mainstream, uh, I find it thrilling. It's one of the most exciting things about the competition. start with the IWC was all about finding the best wines on sale in the UK for UK consumers, for, for wine lovers. And we've never lost sight of that. We, we always have in the back of our mind that we want to find the best things that they possibly are. But a lot of the wines that are entered come from other countries um, and, and aren't on sale here. Um, so it's, it's broader than it was originally intended to start with, but that's great because it now serves as a pointer for some of the wine trade here in the UK to find good wines who've entered into the challenge, got good awards, and it, it, it gets them onto UK shelves. So it, it does what it originally intended to do, but it's broader than that, and it provides a platform that, that helps other producers get their wines on sale here. What, what I like about this, our tasting here is, is rigorous because we have people who come from all different places around the world of wine, um, and we're trying to do the best to find the best wines we can. And no matter how hard we try to be completely objective, there's a degree of subjectivity about what we do. And sometimes you you have to say, actually, I think this is great. And someone will go, yeah, but it's not that great. And we have a debate, and we have a way of I think we have a way of of sifting out to some extent the personal bias that we all have um, and I, so I, th I guess I guess the word for me the, the reason I like this is because there's a collegiate that element to it and it's not saying I am the only taster in the world it's saying I'm a good taster and I'm going to try and find the best result and the best wines with the help of a whole of te a whole team of people I think so that's a success every wine gets respected and gets a fair chance every wine gets respected I'm hugely conscious that in theory I can taste a wine in two minutes and make a decision but the truth is that that wine will get retasted, and I maybe I have to argue about my opinion about that wine. So in fact, I'm aware that winemakers spent. Well, I'm, I'm judging the champagne at the moment. So these wines, and th you know, have taken several years to make. But any wine in this room is someone's life. It's a year of somebody's life. So I think there's a huge respect uh, in the judging process because we because someone's put a lot of effort into making it. Chairs. I'm one of the six co-chairs and our role is to make sure that no beautiful, worthy wine slips through the net. Um, and also to make sure that there's consistency across the judging um, and to make sure that we keep the whole team kind of focused on what gold, silver, bronze and commended mean and also to maintain the quality of the awards that we, we, we offer. That we give. <laughs> so um, the process is basically a two-stage process. Stage one is like broad filtration. Think of it like a colander. So we have thousands and thousands of wines and our 25 panels work together 
um, they're all led by leading experts, multi-field uh, experts. And um, there, as a result of that panel, that sort of filtration, we get to the co-chairs all the wines that the panels think are not medal worthy. So we get, if you like, the, the stuff that's been strained out. Um, and the first week, we go through all of those and we just make sure that there's nothing in there that's been missed. And this is often to do with perhaps subtle wines, uh, speciality wines, wines that are about connoisseurship, that you need connoisseurship perhaps from a particular region. Um, so that's stage one. And if we find wines there we think are worthy, then we put them back into the process ready for filtration too. Um, and this is like a, a fine sieve where we are then going through and we're looking towards the medals, so gold, silver, bronze medals. And um, the panels taste first. They, um, and in this week we then taste everything that the panels have tasted. We are, generally, the panels are pretty spot on. Um, we have fantastic judging. Um, and we just make sure that everything is sort of calibrated as it should be. Um, so my role at this week is I go through and I think, is that a gold? Yes, all golds are double signed off by co-chairs. In fact, any changes must be double signed off by more than uh, one of us. And we then um, make sure that all the medals awarded are at the right stage. And actually, it's an, it, it means that at no point does just one panel chuck a wine out. But it also means that we harness the massive expertise of everybody here. We have hundreds of judges here, and they're from all over the world, massive expertise. And, and our role is to make sure we really make the most of all that and give every wine a, a, a really great chance to shine.